Going by the fate of Auditor General Margaret Nyakango, we believe political interference will not allow ESCC and DCI to deal with this matter. But we put this issue to the agencies as a matter of public record. And the warning must go out there that in the another era, all will be held accountable, including these criminals. It is our position that the stakeholders together, headed by the Catholic Church or any other group that stakeholders can agree on and get to the bottom of the mess building up in our exam management. There must be no room for favoritism in conduct and marking of exams whose, where some schools and students are allowed to, to cheat and get away with it as happened in last year's KCSE and this year's KCPE. Sanity, integrity, and dignity must return to exams. The buck stops with His Excellency Mr. William Ruto. It is our firm belief that mega corruption in billions cannot happen without the complicity of the top. Whether it is 17 billion shilling in oils or billions involved in the poisonous cooking oil, we know the dynamics of how government operates. The CS, the PS are small fries. The buck stops with Mr. Ruto. Virtually every home had a candidate or knew a candidate among those who said KCP and KCSE. KCP alone had close to 1.4 million candidates. The steps you outlined below are critical. One, the circumstances under which the printing of the exams was transferred from the UK to Mombasa Road must be investigated. Two, Kenyans must be told how the integrity of the exams was secured during the transfer from the UK to Mombasa Road and later to another printer in Asia. Three, it is the right of Kenyans to know the cost of termination of the contract with the UK firm. Four, Kenyans must be informed of how the Mombasa Road firm was identified and awarded the tender and if procurement laws were followed. Five, Kenyans must also be informed of how the firm to relay KCP results was identified, whether it is uh, the, same, the same one that will relay the KCSE results and whether procurement laws were adhered to. This is uh, a mess caused by the government and the ones who need to, to clean that mess. The challenge is to them not to us. We pointed out this mess, but we also said that uh, a task force ought to be set up to investigate and come up with what you can call a makeable way out of this mess. There is some people who are in court uh, uh, challenging the, the outcome, yet the ministry is also in the process of admitting uh, the uh, others into into um, uh, schools. Uh, this is itself actually shows the kind of chaos uh, that we're going through. Um, of course, the, the courts will pronounce themselves on, on this matter. So we don't want to prejudge what the, the court will say over this matter. But it's a very sorry st state of affairs. I think stand uh, right now. Uh, and as what we want to see done is to ensure that um, we get to the bottom of this matter. Um, how it was conceived, who were involved, uh, uh, and, and, and who are the beneficiaries of this, so that this thing does not recur again uh, in, the, in the future. I made a statement yesterday, and I saw that this matter was in Parliament also this morning. Um, uh, our belief is that um, this lady is actually being uh, witch hunted because of the stand that she's taken. Because recently, when she appeared before 
the bilateral uh, team at BOMAS and talked about inflation of salaries, that, that her own salary had been inflated in the budget uh, more than th three times, um, basically uh, uh, exposing the corruption that exists in, in the government. I think that uh, people are uncomfortable with her. They want to get rid of her from that office. Because you're talking about something that happened 80 years ago. Uh, the EEC is, is, is the one which is prosecuting. But she was interviewed and appointed. And before somebody is appointed to a position like that one here, you must get actually a, a certificate of clean conduct from um, ESCC, it's, it's one of the, the, those, the, those, those bodies. Uh, wh why now? Did they not have the, 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 those records at that time? Uh, why is it that now that they are all of a sudden have come up over the, with this issue? So our view, this is basically just a wish hunt. They want to smear her name so that uh, they, they get rid of her. But she's a holder of a constitutional office. And my view is that in spite of the, 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 the charges which they have leveled against her, she still uh, seems to be innocent until she has been proved guilty through the due process. So she should continue to exercise her duty as controller of budget.